Federal authorities have now taken action to make rail cars safer when they carry explosive crude oil. The new regulations affect shipments that come through the peninsula. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has this follow-up to his November report on the rolling risk on our rails. Chris? Yeah, Stephanie, the new Transportation Department rule announced today addresses safer cars, better braking standards, and tougher speed limits. As often as five times a week, CSX trains carrying volatile Bakken crude oil pass through Williamsburg and Newport News on their way to a terminal in Yorktown. Two of those trains derailed in the past 12 months, causing huge explosions. Well, the new regulations call for protective jacketing and valves on the cars and lower speed, lim speed limits, especially in urban areas. Our goal and what we accomplished is to create a comprehensive approach to safety that will prevent accidents from happening, that will mitigate damage if they do, and support emergency response. Those older cars must be retrofitted with the safety measures within three years. Now that is a more aggressive timetable than what some industry sources had sought. CSX says it will work to get the cars modified within that timetable, but CSX and the American Association of Railroads are taking issue with a call for new braking technology. And a state task force announced recommendations today as well on the oil trains. We have more details on all this story on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.